It's July 1st, 2016. It's a Friday. S&P 500 futures a little bit lower to start the trading session here on Friday. But if you look, significant move off the lows on Monday. Uh, Brexit vote came out late on Thursday. Remember that spike up the SPY, the ETF that tracks the S&P 500, was over 212 before collapsing a $10 reversal. And if you look, we hit our lows on Monday preceding the lows. And you can see the low was hit uh, later than the VIX. The VIX started to pull back, and that was really a precursor to this move. And I talked about it. You can look at Twitter in the chat room at optionmillionaires.com. See the VIX spiking. It's been a significant move to the downside ever since 40% move to the downside. S&P 500 futures, the opposite direction. The VIX has really been a good indicator of this market. In the past, you look at some of these fear trades back at the start of the year. Uh, could not break that 30 level, melted down back in August. Similar moves have got the VIX down to about 14. We're not there yet. If you look, this is support. We're at the 1543 level. Uh, so the VIX, watch it again this morning. We saw it uh, previously on Monday. We were down 10% on the VIX, yet SP 500 was down over 1.5%. That was telling you something. The fear was starting to abate in the marketplace. If you look, gold continues to move to the upside. We'll look at the gold futures. Uh, gold futures are at 1.27%. Bonds are roaring higher. Look at the 30 year Treasury bond futures up to prices we've never seen before. Uh, if you look also, the US dollar index uh, down about four tenths of a percent after a strong rally. You know, the, the pound dollar cross, which significant move previously. Uh, so let's look at some charts here. Heading into the last trading day of the week, Amazon up against long-term trend lines. And yesterday for Amazon, more of a digestion day. If you look, it was down under $700 on Monday. So a really strong move to the upside off the lows. Some stocks to watch here. Microsoft at 50 level again remains key support. See, we broke below it briefly, much like we did earlier in the year. Ultimately got up to about 56. Could we see a similar type move here? That would imply about $5 of upside for Microsoft. Intel, some positive analyst remarks recently. You could see this long-term trend line, it broke below. Trying to break above it, prices converge here. We can get up to the 36 level that we saw back at the end of 2014, start of 2015. Something that's really breaking out the gold miners. Look at GDX finally breaking out to the upside over long-term trend line. Remember, we came up to it in May, could not break above it. We are now above it. It's very bullish for GDX, which of course means gold is moving higher. And you can see gold has broken its long-term downtrend to the upside. Looks like it's going to break out 150 possibility here in the short to medium term for GLD, uh, the bond market. You believe stock market is about 2% off its record high, but bonds were also heading higher. You can see it broke out of this flagging pattern, came back to its support at 134. Now we are over that 140 level, about 141 before the market opens here this morning. Uh, this could be some sort of a parabolic blow off top here for TLT. Got some puts here earlier in the week. It was wrong in that trade. I think ultimately, though, it's going to pull back. Of course, the market and bonds continue to roar higher this week off the lows. Pretty amazing move for TLT, which is at a new all-time record high. How about Netflix? Out of the blue yesterday after the closing bell, decided to rocket $5 to the upside. You can see it hit support here this week. Got some calls. You can see the nice bounce here. Nice hammer candle. Get back up to the 97. 50 level. What is going to happen when we get these trend lines converging? We're going to see an explosive move for Netflix in the coming weeks. How about Google? Uh, Google at 700 level was respected. Was respected. We're back over it. We came down almost to support here. Are we going to come back to the top side for 750? I think that's the more logical move for Google in the short to medium term. Facebook, this long term trend line respected over the last couple of years. I said we were going to come back to it when we we're up here. Just about down to it. Earlier this week, could this be the end of the selling? Uh, is a distinct possibility here with Facebook. We'll see. Time will tell. But again, this long-term trend line support here is a great buy zone. Uh, if you want to wait it out a little bit, if we do come back to 107.50, this is going to be a great time to get into Facebook. How about Energy XLE continuing to flag? Look at this bull flag here for XLE. Target up here to about the 76 level. All right, it's uh, about two hours before the opening bell here on this July 1st, 2016. It's a Friday. Have a safe and happy 4th of July. I'll see you in the chat room at optionmillionaires.com.